Hello and welcome to the Stuart Turner Monsoon Range PCB replacement video. This video will guide you through step by step the process of changing the PCB on a monsoon pump. With the electrical supply isolated a decision must be made as to whether the PCB change can be completed with the pump in situ or whether the hoses will need to be disconnected and the pump moved to a more accessible location. The next thing you will need is a PCB service kit like the one I have here. This will contain all the necessary parts needed to change the PCB on your pump. PCB kits can be ordered on the Stuart Turner website or by calling our Pump Assist team. It is worth noting that the replacement PCB you receive may differ from your old one as they are constantly being updated. Now we can begin the PCB change. The first thing to do is remove the four screws from the terminal box and remove the lid. Once the terminal box lid has been removed, it is important to first touch the capacitor terminals with an insulated electrical screwdriver to ensure any remaining charge has been released. The terminals should be bridged like so and a note taken of the capacitor wiring connections and colours. Now the wiring can be undone from the terminal blocks on the PCB. First the capacitor and motor wiring and then the supply cable wiring. To remove the supply cable earth wire, first remove the nut, then the lock washer, then the plane washer. This allows the removal of the earth wire and the cut washer below it. Next, the reed switch and pressure switch wires can be removed from the PCB. It is worth making a note of the location of these wires to aid reassembly. The number of pressure switch and reed switch wires connected to your PCB will vary depending on what pump you have. Consult the service instructions in your kit for further information. The PCB can now be removed by undoing the two nuts holding the PCB onto the mounting studs. With the PCB removed, the sticky pad that holds the capacitor in place can also be removed. Before reassembly, ensure that the terminal box is tightened down to a torque of 1.5 newton meters. When removing the PCB from its packing, check that none of the protruding components are damaged. With the PCB unpacked, make note of the labels on the terminal blocks. Then place the PCB onto the terminal studs. Refer to the instructions in your service pack for correct orientation of the PCB. Using two M4 nuts, secure the PCB to the pump and tighten to a torque of 1.5 newton meters. Now we can reconnect all wiring back onto the PCB using the wiring diagram found in the service instructions in your service kit. First we connect the appropriate pressure and reed switches for your pump. Depending on the age of the pump, the pressure switch wires may be blue and brown like I have here, or just brown like the reed switches. With the reed and pressure switch wires connected, ensure the excess cables are correctly routed and secured as per the service instructions. Now the capacitor wires can be reconnected to the PCB. Next the earth cable can be reconnected to the motor stud. 
Ensure the earth cable is secured with the correct order of nuts Consult and your washing. service kit instructions for more information. The live and neutral mains wires can now be connected. Blue for neutral, brown for live. Be mindful that the cable routing should not interfere with any delicate components such as this. The capacitor should be secured using the adhesive foam pad supplied. For correct operation the capacitor must be secured and positioned as detailed in your service instructions. The final step is to replace the terminal box lid and screws. The screws should be tightened to a torque of 0.8 newton meters. Now your monsoon PCB replacement is complete.